Some big changes for students back in school today. Brevard Public Schools hosting an event to welcome those students back while also introducing new school rules they're implementing for the rest of the year. News 6's Mark Lehman has the details. Brevard school leaders kicking off the new semester with a visit here at Sable Elementary. It comes as changes are going into effect across the district after discipline problems last year. Good morning, sir. How you doing? School board chair Matt Susan joining interim superintendent Robert Schiller, the new faces of district leadership welcoming students back and talking about what to expect for the rest of the school year. We are back. We now have a superintendent in place. We now have a zero tolerance policy that we will be setting into effect today. Part of that includes students no longer allowed to use cell phones in class if it's a distraction. Now we said you can take that phone. We'll have SROs or administrators coming in to take those phones in the event that they're trying to teach. Another change also gives principals the authority to suspend students up to five days for bad behavior. It came in response to dozens of Brevard teachers and bus drivers quitting over the issue. And you're seeing it pop up in different areas with articles that are saying the same thing from their school districts. It's just that we in Brevard decided that we were going to do this, get it done, and get it done first. In November, Susan joined Sheriff Wayne Ivey outside the jail to announce plans for what they called the most prolific school discipline policy the district has ever seen. Susan saying today's changes are a start of what's to come. We have to set a strong, stern example of what's right and wrong. But then we also need the community to come forward and work with us and tie our schools together. Moving forward, the interim superintendent is set to chair a disciplinary committee to discuss more policy changes. That committee is set to meet this month. In Melbourne, Mark Lehman getting results. News 6.